Peninsula Place versus Trellis Lane. Lawrence Kreffman for the plaintiff, Your Honor. Hey, Jan, how are you doing? Okay, I'm doing okay. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Yana, can I get sworn in? Uh, no. He said no. Yes, that two oh, letter. Okay. Um, Mr. Kreffman, how much is owing on this account? Your Honor, um, the rent to retain possession is $1,978.19, plus court costs of $161 for a total of $2,131.19. Sir, how do you intend upon getting that paid? Uh, Your Honor, um, I am the first-hand witness. I have certain facts obtained a matter of hand. I am the beneficiary of my estate. I am the taxpayer. I am the signed person by the Social Security Administration. That card is in my name. I don't know if you got any of my emails. No, I um, got them all. And I also sent the I sent the hard copy to to the court. I don't know if they have time. Um, to get there, it should arrive at 1030. Um, like I was stating, I want to have a motion to be on the half on the plaintiff. Okay, so right off the bat, you can tell that this guy is a sovereign citizen. He said a whole bunch of nothing. Sir, what in the doohickey are you talking about? Um, I've shown all proof that I have an interest and in ownership on this account, and I've been a, a I've been performing, and they have not been accept, accepting my payments. They haven't been accepting your payments. Okay, so it's rather apparent that this man is a renter. We just heard how much money he would need to pay to stay in the property. Why wouldn't the owners accept your money? You're clearly lying. You didn't send anything, which is why you are here now in court. I have not. I sent the letters. I How sent much did you send it in U.S. currency? I sent them by my endorsement. What in the doohickey is your endorsement? The only type of payments that any landlords would accept is U.S. currency. Nobody knows what the heck you are talking about. You're giving it away. You clearly didn't pay any rent. And that's why you are here in court today. Just be honest. Okay, that wasn't my question. My question was, are you sending it in U.S. currency? Um, no, Your Honor, we don't have currency. All we have is credit. I see. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh -huh. um, when do I try? Let me see. When can I set it? You want to do a trial? Yes. Yeah. Or whatever. Every day I got. Do you want to do it after the third? At what time? No, because those other people will be here. Oh, okay. Just give me a date. Monday the night at 1.30. All right, real good. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just skip the formalities. I'm going to set this for non-jury trial. Monday, January 9th. 2023 at what time? 1:30. At 1:30, that will be for tr that will be in person. Okay. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Happy holidays. Yes, and to you, sir. All right. One week later. Court does call the case. Uh, Peninsula Place versus is it Trellis Lane? Yes. 
Good afternoon, Your Honor. David Finney here on behalf of the plaintiff. Sir, your name? Sorry, Judge. Fellas, name. All right. This is the date for non-jury trials, and this is a non-payment of rent case. How much is the plaintiff claim is owing? Your Honor, the total balance at this time is $3,320.17 plus court costs of $161. Damn. I'm sorry. $3,320.17. Sir, of that amount, is there any that you believe that you owe? No. You were going to say something. I was going to ask to Jack what he was about to say as far as about the numbers. About saying what I owe, but you already answered the question. I mean, ask me the question. This man is clearly going to make a fool of himself in this court hearing. And Mr. I can break Fran down that amount if you want me to, Your Honor. Pardon? I can break down the amount if you'd like me to. Um, just one moment. We'll get to that. Um, sir, can I ask you, um, I received the documents from you. Is there... Is there a reason why you don't think you owe that amount? Because it's already been paid, Your Honor. Um, far as uh, reporting adverse information about a call signer at 211 of 1989, um, Vanessa Place is trying to help me liable as the co signer when I have an uh, interest and a signature and I'm a natural person. So they're trying okay, to be so, viable. Okay, so let me ask you this. Okay. Um, just so that we, I have the background on it. You, you reside in this unit that's at, um, I think, 315B right. at 1000. You, you reside there. Um, that's my place of all my... Well, you, you live there, right? Depends what you're talking about. I'm, I'm coming, I'm acting as a consumer. So, um, as far as like my, um, and they're on special appearance and my eighth, my estate stays there. But as far as a natural man, I don't have no um, place. As far as my estate and my... Okay, so when... Whoever is in this courtroom leaves here to go what, to what they would call home. Where does this person that's sitting here go? To my place of abode, Your Honor. After Which this. is where? A plaintiff's place. Okay. At the 315B. Correct. All right. Now, this judge is already doing a very good job at asking his questions because he sees that this sovereign citizen is trying to be slick and trying to play word games with him. So he's asking them very specific and easy questions. So that way there's no way for this man to wiggle his way out of acting as if he is not the person that resides there. All of that mumble jumble that this sovereign citizen just said made absolutely no sense but at the end of the day the judge just got him to admit that he in fact is the one that resides at that residence good job judge that's what they need to know okay
Is there a, do you have a ledger? And I'll give Mr. Lane a copy also. Thank you. <laughs> And Mr. Fantero, this would be your witness, is yes. that correct? Okay, why don't we do this? Why don't we have her and Mr. Lane sworn in, please? Thank you. Uh, yeah, what? Right in. Yeah. Where the testimony about the gift? I do. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony about the gift will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I don't. Or could I give you a real quick context on that? Yes, please. Um, we had a previous case last summer where Mr. Lane received Sarah funds, um, and when we had the when we had the uh, I have a copy I have a case number I have a copy of the unsigned copy of the COD um, that was entered on September 9th. SOS paid his rent through September. And it left a small balance of, uh, I think about $119, which he, which we waived. So the balance, even though it doesn't show it on there because we didn't actually get the SOS check till sometime later, his rent at the end of September was zero. So the total balance that's on there is five months of rent at 530 now, isn't that something? We have a sovereign citizen here who doesn't believe in the United States government getting SOS checks to pay his rent. And those SOS checks are coming from the very government that he doesn't believe in. How hypocritical is that? These sovereign citizens are a complete bunch of of jokes uh, water and sewer bills electric bills there's not even any late fees and then there's 161 in court costs so i just want to clarify that in fact it none of this goes back past september 30th in fact if you i don't know if you remember we actually when we had the previous case mr lane had sued Peninsula Place seeking the return of all money he paid forever. And he denied that he owed money, but simultaneously applied for Sarah. And he denied he applied for Sarah. You verified with probably Aaron at the time that he had applied for Sarah. He ended up getting Sarah funds. He would not sign the COD. And then you basically gave him a choice. I'll enter the COD or We'll have a trial and I'll give you a judgment. But sounds like he's raising some of the same stuff now that he attempted to raise. Donna, free speak. Go ahead, sir. So, Yana, when I applied for, so at first I didn't know what I was applying for. So, when I applied for Sarah funding, I ended up giving my principal information. Which is was, was my name, my date of birth, and my social security. Social security. Basically, I'm here today saying that I gave my principal to Peninsula Place, and I've never received any center consideration. Your Honor, I don't understand what that means. I have a lease here that is between Peninsula Place and Trellis Lane. It's not between. The estate of Travis Lane, it's not between, it's not with, I think I saw somewhere here a something that he recorded with the state of Michigan. Um, certificate of assumed name, TTL LLC. The lease is with the name is with Trellis Lane, who is a, is a person. And Your Honor, I took control of my name, so that means all interest and consideration will be coming out to me. Okay, let me. Well, I, I I again, I don't know what that means. Don't feel bad, Judge, because you're not alone, and I'm sure he doesn't even know what that means. He's literally just making things up on the spot. However. 
Are you trellis laying? Um, That's a yes or no. Because I'll tell you, if you are, mm -hmm. then we'll go ahead with the trial. If you're not trellis lane, then I'm going to give them a judgment by default because trellis lane hasn't shown. I must say this judge is brilliant. He knows exactly how to deal with this sovereign citizen because the judge just asked this man a simple question and you heard him. He was about to say, um, and then go into a whole long soliloquy. Dude, that's not going to work with this judge. So stop it with the foolishness. I'm, I'm, I'm here on special appearance. No, you can't do that. You are not an attorney at law because you can't appear for somebody else. So my question is, and I'll ask it again. Are you trellis lane? Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Now you see now. You know, fucked up, you know that, don't you? I see what I'm saying. I, no, I, I thought. No, so, you know what I'm saying? You know, fucked up now, you know that, don't you? So, Mr. Lane. October of 2022. Mm -hmm. Did you pay rent to the landlord? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, and how did you pay that? I'm paying with, with my credits that's on file. So I sent instructions back in May, basically to get my account zero every month. What the hell are you talking about? Do what? I, I sent instructions back in May, then I sent another one to December to the CEO. The CEO of what? Uh, American Campus Committees. Saying it right. So he's seen my email, so he's aware of what's going on. Basically, like I say, I'm looking for consideration. I have not been getting no consideration, no adequate consideration. Well, you get adequate consideration for the contract and any payment by virtue of the fact that you have a residence. So I don't think consideration is even an issue. Well, well yeah, I have several questions. Well, you can go ahead and ask your questions, but I don't know... Let me just ask this. October 2022, how did you pay your rent? I paid with my endorsed, I took the bill, I endorsed it. Did you give them cash? They don't have. Um, we being whom? I'm saying we, it's a credit system, Your Honor. It's a what? It's a credit system. We don't, we don't so, have so who's in charge of this credit system? So who's in charge? Surely. I mean, we didn't have we haven't had money since 1933. The American Bank. We being whom? Who, who are you talking about when you say we haven't had money? Who is we? I can't believe the words that are coming out of this man's mouth. He is making a complete fool of himself. He just told the judge that. There's no money. We're operating off a credit system. Wow. These sovereign citizens, they just, I don't need, he, this man can't even possibly believe the words that are coming out of his own mouth. I'm very interested in hearing this man answer the judge's question. It's like the United States haven't had money since 19. Oh, they definitely have. And I spent my share. So uh, I don't know. You you're saying you gave them credit. Yes. In what form did you give them credit in the month of October 2022? Then credit. I took the bill, which they give me a bill every month. 
which is a statement. I take this statement. If you want to, I can show you. What yeah, I'm doing. I know what he's referring to. Can I show you? Yeah. I'll show him, and then I got copies for him. Here's 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 what I here's what he's getting, Your Honor. We have a third party billing company um, called Z, uh, Zigo, and so what they do is every month they bill uh, the, the utilities. So he gets this bill, and then you'll see at the bottom what he writes is pay to the order of Peninsula Place. And so what he's taken, so for, this, for example, the top one says pay to the order of Peninsula Place 662.12. That amount is his monthly rent plus the 123.12 in utilities that are at the top. There's three of these that I've attacked. So what he does is he cuts off the bottom and he mails that in as with instructions to pay to the order of Peninsula Place as if that's a check. <laughs> Yo, this guy right here is something else. He got to be one of the dumbest sovereign citizens that I've seen. I can't believe that he thinks that he can pretty much send back the bill or the bottom of the bill and send it back to the real estate company and act as if that's some type of payment. Like, wh where did this fool learn this foolishness? I um, have this marked as plaintiff's exhibit and two. The ledger being one. But Mr. Lane, you have a copy of what I've marked as plaintiff's exhibit two. Is what Mr. Fantera described, is that correct? Is that what you do? Yes, I'm I'm ex I'm accepting the credits that's given to me and I'm transferring to that. Who's giving you this credit? They they who? They don't want you to float in the water. So we float in the water. They don't want me to have an elevator. So I make sure I got an elevator. They don't want me to wear a bow tie. So I decided to wear a bow tie. So the Nessa place, they're basically there. So in the, in the beginning, when I signed up with Penessa place, I gave my principal information. So those payments are supposed to come to me as credit. So what they're what payments? The payments that's coming every month. So so those payments, they're trying to hold me liable for it. And I'm taking the credits that I'm receiving and dishing it back to them. To Penessa Plus. I, what is, I have a, who's giving you credit? You said who's giving me credit? Yeah. I, I have credit, Your Honor. I have a security interest. In what? In this so-called contract with Penessa Place. Okay. But who's giving you credit? Young man, you keep using these terms, payment, credit, and it seems to me as I'm listening to you that you're using them improperly. Excuse me, Judge, but this sovereign citizen can't even put together a coherent sentence because he is literally just making things up nothing he said remotely even makes sense this man is a complete fool he is playing a game and he expects everyone to play along with him i am so glad that this judge is not playing this silly game with him so my question is have you paid anything to the plaintiff in U.S. dollars or anything that evidences U.S. dollars? No, I haven't paid in U.S. dollars. But or anything evidencing U.S. dollars, yeah. like a check, credit card, anything like that. So... This is no, that's a yes or no. Can you repeat the question, Yana? Have you, uh, uh, let me just break it apart so we get it real clear. 
Have you paid for the months of October 2022, November 2022, December 2022, January 2023, or February of 2023? Have you paid to anything to Peninsula Place in U.S. dollars? No, Your Honor. Have you paid anything to them that is evidence of an account which holds U.S. dollars? Yes, Your Honor. What? And what account is it attached to? You better be careful about answering my question. Because I, if you're telling me that you gave them or paid them something that evidences an account that can access U.S. dollars, show it to me. Is that access to U.S. dollars? Right here. What is that? What, what Mr. Frantera just gave? Yes. How does that access U.S. dollars? Because, Your Honor, this account, I'm the holder and I have the interest. Then show me the balance on that account. The, they show you the balance? Yep. This shows you the balance. No, you haven't shown me anything. Show me the balance on the account. Once again, I must say that this judge is doing an excellent job dealing with the sovereign citizen. He is setting a trap for this fool, and this fool is falling for it. This man clearly hasn't paid his rent in U.S. dollars. He is talking a bunch of nonsense. And the judge is aware of that. So he's taking advantage of the fact he is letting this man hang himself with his own silly words. If you give somebody something that evidences that they can access U.S. dollars, then there is a balance on that account in terms of what you're giving them. Much as if somebody gave a check to them, they would be able to show the account for which they can then present that check and receive U.S. dollars. Show me that account, Mr. Lane. Like I said, uh, I don't know what, what else you're asking for. This is the- No, you know exactly what I'm asking. Accent for something that's coming out. Something that evidences that by that piece of paper that you've given them, that they can access U.S. dollars. Excuse me, Judge, but this man clearly can't do what you're asking him to do. He cannot show you an account that evidences U.S. dollars, and he knows it, and he is looking like a complete fool right now. You are making a fool out of this man, and I thank you for what you're doing. Okay, I don't have any other account besides this, Your Honor. You don't have any what? I said I don't have any other evidence besides this right here. That does not show me that they can access U.S. dollars. Okay. Where would they take that to, in your mind? Where would they take that to to access the United States dollars? Put it on the ledger. Where would they take it to to access U.S. dollars? So, okay. So, Your Honor, so I got a, I got a question. As far as landlord and tenant, tenant relations, uh, relationships, it's in here. 
I'll try to answer your question as soon as you answer mine. Okay. Where would they take it to access U.S. dollars? They would take it and take the check and put it on a ledger with my credit. Because if I owe something, Your Honor, it would be in the negative balance. How can I pay something that's in a positive balance? How how can you don't have a positive balance? This is you have given them a piece of paper that you yourself just said is a check. So where would they take that to access your account? So you yeah. receive U.S. dollars. Honor, they're acting in this honor. They're taking it and they never said anything about or object to it. So it was off there. Off oh, they're objecting now, certainly. Where would they take it, Mr. Lang? So where would they take it? I mean, as far as we got to uh, we have to, they have a security deposit deposition bond. So they have it in the financial institution. What financial institution I'm not would sure. they take it to to get cash from your check, as you call it, that would then be debited from your account. Where would they take it? This is hilarious because the judge keeps asking this man the same question over and over and over again, knowing that he doesn't have an answer for the question. He's just waiting for this fool to just say, hey, you know what, judge? I was scamming. I do owe the money, but this sovereign citizen is so dumb, he's just going to keep going on, letting the judge go on and on and on, asking him the same question that he clearly cannot answer because everything that he just said is made up. It's something he made up. He wants them to take this quote unquote check and put it on a ledger what the hell does that even mean, sir? So, debit it. So, so what about the credit, Shana? I don't see a credit. On this paper, it says credit, payments, and credits. That's not what it means, what? to the extent it says that. You have no credit. Where would they take it to get U.S. dollars? Where would they take it? They would take it out of my trust, Your Honor. Out of your trust? Yes. Where is this trust located? We all have a trust in me. Okay. Let's say we all do. I'm not accepting your premise, but let's say we all do. Where is your trust located? I'm not sure where it's located, Your Honor. Wait a darn second. What in the doohickey are you talking about, sir? You're saying that they can take this quote-unquote check to your trust, but you don't even know where your trust is. So how are they supposed to know where your trust is to get access to the funds? Like, you clearly haven't thought this through. This judge is making a complete fool of yourself, you need to just just accept your losses and pay these people their damn rent. So if they wanted U.S. dollars for this thing you purport to be a check, you can't tell them where to take it. In the treasury. Which treasury? The treasury. Oh, so they have to go to the U.S. treasury with this thing that purports to be a check. Really? They're pulling from the treasury. That's why they asked for my information. Who is pulling from the treasury? Peninsula Place, Your Honor. So Peninsula Place is pulling from the U.S. Treasury. I got the account attached to my name with my social and my information. So they're pulling from the U.S. Treasury because of that? <laughs> you know, I, I can't believe that this is comedy gold the things that this man is saying is just so 
ridiculous. And this judge is just, he is just making a fool of this guy. Like, I, I'm literally here right now with tears in my eyes because this is hilarious. Say that again. So because of that, they're pulling from the U.S. Treasury. I mean, they're charging an account with that. So this account has my information tied into it, which is which is showing that it's already prepaid. So what they're trying to do is make me, Peninsula is trying to make me repay. You've never paid anything. So they're not trying to make you repay. They're trying to make you pay. Honor. So how did we get here if I never provide if I if I provided my information to Peninsula Place? We got here because you have never provided them anything. Okay. To pay on this account in US dollars or anything evidencing US dollars. That's how we're here. For five months. You haven't done that. Okay. So in the in the, you, uh, um, in the contract it says payment and then specify what type of payment. I'm asking you, have you paid them in US dollars? No, they have no credit. But you have no credit. Beyond this is evident. In order, hold on. Okay. In order to pay in credit, if you will, you must have something that evidences a balance on that credit. I've already asked you once. Why not? I'll ask you again. Show me something that evidences the credit. That shows the credit? The birth certificate and a social security number showing my line of credit that I applied. So how much is in that line of credit? You say how much is in the line of credit? Sure. If you got a line of credit, it's got to have a value. So how much is in it? I believe, every, I believe everybody has a billion dollars. I didn't ask in everybody. Nothing. Nothing. Your social security number is worth nothing. Because the credit is unlimited. So it's not a set dollar that's on the social on the social security number. There's not five billion dollars. That's all you worth. What if you worth more than that? So it's not a set number, y'all. Um once the United States government took the gold standard off the dollar. And, uh, and, and money became debt, uh, credit has become unlimited. You see this guy going through this court case right now for not paying his rent. He's clearly a student of the Sovereign Citizen clip that I just played. Now, as you can see, none of that stuff that he teaches and preaches works his student is now in court for non-payment of rent all of that credit is unlimited and the social security number is worth a billion dollars and the birth certificate is worth a billion dollars all garbage this man is clearly about to be evicted and he will be having to go to the nearest Homeless shelter. I'm asking, how much is in your line of credit? Well, for what Peninsula Place? Whatever. No, I'm asking you. You're saying that your birth certificate and the Social Security, you have a line of credit. I don't believe that to be the case, but what the heck? Let's ask you, how much is then in your line of credit? Nothing. Nothing. I'm not sure, Yana. So if you're not sure how much is in there and you give them this thing that evidences, as you're saying, just take this one month, 
of $662.12, you don't know if that can be subtracted from that credit you supposedly have. I'm, a, I'm believing at least a billion dollars worth of credit. Oh, you have a billion dollars worth of credit. Your social security number is worth nothing because the credit is unlimited. So it's not a set dollar that's on the social, on the social security number. There's not $5 billion. That's all you're worth. What well, if you're worth more than that? You see, this guy clearly wasn't paying attention in class. His master teacher clearly just said that there isn't a set dollar attached to the social security card. Now, he just gave his value of his social security number at one billion dollars that's all you worth what if you worth more than that as your master teacher just said pay attention fool we all have credit well i'm not worried at this point about anybody else's credit i'm worried about yours so you're saying you have a billion dollars but you have nothing that shows me that you have a billion dollars worth of credit. Mm -hmm. Mr. Lane, plaintiff is claiming that you owe them $3,320.17. Tell me every reason why I should not give them a judgment for that amount. That's going against the um, Michigan Consumer Protection Act. What particular provision are you claiming of the Michigan Consumer Protection Act? Enter into a consumer transaction in which the consumer weighs or pur purports to waive right benefit or immunity provided by loss. On, on by law, unless a waiver in public state and the consumer has specified consent to it. I never gave no consent. What have they asked you to waive? You said, were they asking me to waive? Mm -hmm. My rights. To as what? A consumer. As a consumer of what? You said a consumer of what? Yeah. Of this contract. What rights did they ask you to waive? My interest. What interest? I have an interest in this in this so-called contract. Oh, you do. You also have certain obligations under that contract. So I have obligations. Oh yeah. Okay. Like payment. Okay. According to, like I say, landlord and tenant relationship. It's just crazy how these sovereign citizens are doing, saying anything to get out of their obligations. This man clearly knows that he owes that company rent, but he's about to sit up here and read countless pieces of frivolous paperwork to try and prove a point when he knows he owes the money. What in the doohickey is wrong with you, sir? Um... Pay the landlord for all the rent arranged under this rental agreement. And that's basically what I have the security deposit for. No, your security deposit is not under Michigan law for that reason. What is for the honor? That's what it says security deposit permissible uses. I mean, there is no security deposit under this lease. They do not require a security deposit, it's zero. Okay. Even worse. I don't know which, which. You don't have a security deposit. Your security deposit is zero. You did not pay a security deposit when you moved in. This client does not require. You, you say move in. All this, this somewhere. And even if you had one, security deposit act, you can't apply it. Sorry. So. What other reason do you have why you don't owe this money? Yeah, what other reason? Yeah, you told me Landlord-Tenant Relationship Act, which you haven't pointed to a particular provision. 
You've talked about a security deposit of which you have none, so that can't be a reason. I don't know, and you haven't pointed to anything under the Landlord-Tenant Relationship Act that would even be applicable in this particular case regarding the monies that you owe. You cited the Michigan Consumer Protection Act. There's been no benefit that they've denied you, no interest that they've denied you. So that can't apply. Give me some anything else as to why you don't know this. Anything else why I don't know this? I don't understand what else that you're looking for. This guy is completely dumbfounded and he, he just can't figure things out. Like nothing he says is working in his favor. And he, he just, he, he, he ran out of the, the, the sovereign citizen script. So he, he just doesn't even know what to say. When the judge asks him a question, he's repeating the question because he know he doesn't have a, a, a solid line of defense. He ran out of pages of his stupid script. Sir, you owe the money. Point blank, period. And the crazy thing is, you know you owe the money. Like, come on. Like I said, I want you to tell me every reason why I should not say and give them a judgment for this, the $3,320.17 plus their cost. So, Your Honor. I'm, I'm sorry, can you do that again? Which part? You saying, so how is this not like a contract of adhesion that is more beneficial to Pernessa Lopez? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I don't know what that meant. Explain what you're trying to say to me. So, it's two parties, and I consider the, the weaker part. So, they wrote this contract, and all in the benefit for them. Excuse me, sir. Let me just interrupt you real quick before you finish whatever stupid statement you're about to make. Yes, they wrote this contract, and you agreed to it. You signed it point blank period so if you didn't want to enter into a contract with them you shouldn't have done that so i don't want to hear any more nonsense coming out of your mouth so where did i have any say so in this contract well you had the big say so of no you didn't have to sign it so ain't that false and misleading they was never no no that's not false and misleading they didn't. Disclosure. They didn't force you to sign it. You signed it. So I'm signing. It. So is this a loan that I'm getting from Peninsula Place? No, you are not getting a loan from Peninsula Place. So, you are renting an apartment. Correct. In consideration for the use of that apartment, which belongs to Peninsula Place, you're to pay them rent. You haven't for the last five months. Actually, you didn't pay it before then because Sarah paid it, but. You haven't paid rent for the last five months. Yeah, no, all bills are prepaid. No, they're not. Okay. Your bill is not prepaid. Okay. Like I said, it's in the positive balance. If I owe anything, it will be in the negative. I don't even know what that means because your positive versus negative is different than anybody else I've ever come across. You said my positive is... Yes. Right now, you're in the negative of about $3,320.17. When I log into my portal, it shows a positive balance. I can't, can't, can't owe something in a positive balance. It's just if I log into my app on my mobile device to look at my bank account, it's in a positive balance. Your bank account. Yes, this is a positive balance. If I owe anything, it will be. So you have the money. So you have $3,320.17. Yes, I'm giving an example. What's giving an example? If I owe anything, it'll be in the negative. 
I don't know what that means. You don't have a credit on this account. You owe them thirty three twenty seventeen. Uh, if I don't have a credit, Your Honor, how how do they make up an account number with all my information? I had to give them something. Yeah, you gave them your information. You, the only thing you haven't done is give them money. So, in other words, you're telling me that I have to repay them, which is already paid. You never paid it. No matter how many times you keep saying it, you never paid it. Like I said, John. You've never paid anything since October. I, I have federal questions. You have federal questions. Okay, well, you can take those up where they'll hear those. I don't know what federal questions you have because every state question that you attempted to try to raise falls flat on its face. There's no violation of the Michigan Consumer Protection Act. There's no violation of the Truth in Renting Act. You haven't paid anything. You won't show me an account where that even evidences that you had the money. You haven't paid it. So this account right here doesn't show my name, Your Honor. You don't have an account. If you're talking about a financial account, you don't have an account. You haven't shown me one. I've asked you for it. You haven't shown it to me. Like I said, the account is right here, Your Honor. That's not your account. So who account is it? It, it has my name on it. You keep calling it an account. It is not an account. You'll have a lot of things that will have your name on them. They aren't your account. They're tied into with me, and I have an interest. <laughs> okay. You're going to have an interest. You're going to have all of that. You have nothing where they could go and get cash. Nothing where they could go and get anything that would even remotely represent payment on this account. And you haven't done so for the last five months. So, yeah, on this ledger, it say payments credit. Look, I'm not going to sit up there and go back and forth with you on that. I asked you just plain out. Tell me every reason why you don't think you owe this money. So, Your Honor, I'm a responsible, responsible party, and I gave my endorsements. They accepted, and I'm demanding pay. They never gave me pay. Like I said, I have my birth certificate. I have the Social Security number showing that I am the Do you have a bank account? My bank account? What? I swear, this right here is like talking to a two-year-old. This man is just dumb. Or you know what? Rather, he's playing dumb because he knows how the world works. He knows that he rented a place and that he has to pay a monthly fee to stay in that residence. He's just playing dumb right now. And it's just it's just sad that people actually do this. Like this is this is embarrassing. He should feel embarrassed for himself. What does the bank account have to do with Because that's usually how people pay for their rent. Your Honor, all I'm doing is enforcing my rights. I'm not sure which rights you think you're enforcing. Because I haven't heard one yet. Is there any other reason you believe that you don't owe this 332017 that you have not already stated to me? Any other reason? Oh, if I have any other reason besides, like I say, Jan, I'm sorry, prepaid. And they're trying to make me pay twice, acting in dishonor. Accepting and not returning, not saying anything of it, they not accepting. 
So they've been taking it ever since I started, what, maybe March last year? Ma'am, your name is? Jane. Full name? Jane Hogan. Miss Hogan. And you, what is your position with Penance of Blake? I'm the property general manager. Okay. And you would be familiar with the books and ledger regarding this particular this particular unit? Yes. You had an opportunity to review that prior to coming to court today. Yes. Is it true that $3,320.17 is the balance that's owed on this account? Yes, sir. Thank you. Sir, is there any other reason why you don't think you owe that money? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because I'm about ready to rule. Rule, I thought I was supposed to get a, a jury trial. No. I set this for trial sometime back in December, actually. So, my... So you waived it for a non-jury trial. Excuse me, sir, but it doesn't matter if it's a jury trial or the judge rules on it. Either or, either situation, you are going to lose because you owe the money, point blank, period. Sir, you gave no objection, nor requested a jury trial. So... Yeah, I gave no objection. Okay. When I set the date on December twenty third, you get there was no objection to that, and because you had not requested a jury trial at any given point, so I'm not even going to get into that. You waived that right. Any other reason why you don't think you owe the money that's been testified to, sir? Oh, yeah. All right. Mr. Pantera, you forego closing argument. Yes, Your Honor. All right. So, anything else you want to say to the court? Once I have federal questions, it's an appeal. Uh, a higher court. Yeah. As soon as I enter my judgment, you'll be able to appeal all you want. Maybe you can perfect it. So, the court, having heard the testimony in this case, the court would find that plaintiff has sustained their burden of showing that the defendant owes $3,320.17 in outstanding rent and charges on this account. And the court would uh, order a judgment to the plaintiff in that amount plus its cost. That would constitute then the redemption amount on this um, premises. The defendant would have 10 days to pay that, which means he would have to pay that by February 24th or a writ of restitution or order of eviction may issue. I will sign a judgment. Should I show it to Mr. Lauplein? Show it to him if you'd like or you can present it to the court. I've issued my judgment. The court has signed that judgment. Thank you. So once again, the sovereign citizen defense did not work. This man failed miserably and now has to pay what he is obligated to, play, to pay plus the court fees. If I was a judge, I would actually triple the amount. Just because this man is a damn fool. Hey,